Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for December 6th, 2019. It's Friday. Who doesn't like a Friday? Well, this morning, the bulls seem to be pretty happy on Friday. They're trying to push the markets up again in the pre-market. Yesterday, they tried that and unsuccessful. The day before they tried that, unsuccessful. But they're pushing again this morning in this relentless bullishness um, of this market. So right now, we're pushing up this morning, looking at a gap up open in the, the Dow, but it has slipped back just slightly um, so as we head toward that employment situation number, it's all about that employment situation number coming out at 8.30 a.m. We'll talk about that in just a second. First, let's take a look at the technicals of the chart. We have a rally back toward price resistance in these charts. Now, the question is, are we going to be able to break through that resistance, move on higher, or will we see... Um, the bears come in here and I don't know I I gotta tell you it's it's a very interesting market where we just have this constant relentless push by the bulls it doesn't seem to matter what happens we constantly and relentlessly push higher and maybe that's a good sign one of the things I look at is this possibility right in here whoops of this little top that could be forming here a little head and shoulders top but that could be just blown away this morning by a big bullish move if the unemployment situation number comes in positive now the adp number on wednesday was not positive it it showed jobs growth but it declined rather sharply one thing i will tell you though about the adp is it happens to well, it just seems to miss an awful lot on the actual number that comes out in the government um, employment situation number. So we'll have to wait and see if that translated over into uh, today's number or not. But right now, the market seems to be bullish um, that we will continue to see jobs growth in that employment situation number. So let's watch that close right now what we can hang our hat on is that we do have um, uh, this relentlessly bullish trend and if we take a look at our moving averages one thing I think that was positive in that pullback is that we came closer to testing that 50-day moving average I don't like the fact that we've gapped back up and those kind of things I would like to see this market stop being an all-or-nothing market where we just zoom up or zoom back and it seems to be all happening in the pre-market anymore where retail traders don't appear to get a whole lot of opportunity to trade because it's all in the gap during the day but we'll wait and see how to market the market plays out but one thing is for Certain. The bulls are still in control of this trend and they um, relentlessly want to hold on to it and push to new record highs. So let's see if that can actually be, uh, be done in light of... Um, what we have ahead of us still we still have that uncertainty of trade and the possibility of those december 15 tariffs going into place unless the president pulls those or there is a trade deal um, we still face those it'll be interesting to see even with a bullish move today whether or not um, there will be some profit taking into the weekend just to reduce risk of this situation so it'll be interesting to watch and see but right now bulls are in control let's take a look at the spy spy very much the same situation a little bit better than the, than the dow i would say and we're pushing up toward price resistance right in here we may actually gap above that little price resistance here today now the spy didn't do as nearly as good a job of reaching down here toward its 50-day moving average so we still have that large separation here to consider um, in that chart and um, right now bulls want to push back higher that seems like uh, the only thing we can think about is trying to reach um, uh, new record highs and we're ignoring anything in the market that might be potentially bearish so just be cautious and careful um, every trader has to plan your risk to the market um, as you see fit 
Um, we can't just blindly follow the market. We have to think about those risks and what could potentially occur and plan our risk according to our tolerance for that risk. If you happen to be very, very bullish and, and just um, have a large tolerance to risk and no major concerns that um, we're, we're moving relentlessly back up to test um, all time highs in the market ahead of potential tariffs, then get her done. You know, um, by all means, there's, n I can't tell you which way this market is going to go. And as a matter of fact, I would tell you when we're relentless like this, it's even harder to, um, to, uh, decipher the technicals of the chart and the price action of the chart when we have that relentlessly bullish market. So kind of keep that in mind. Just plan your risk as you see fit. Um, I tend to be more on the conservative side. So um, I may get some bullish price action today. I may be taking some profits as I head into the weekend just so I can reduce that risk into the weekend in case they continue to kick around that political football of US-China trade um, over the weekend. Who knows what may come out, um, let alone the the drafting of articles of impeachment for the president and how that news could spin out over the weekend. Uh, what a what a what a market we live in right now. What a world we live in right now with all this uncertainty. Let's take a look at the cues. Cues also very very bullish. Trying to gap up this morning. You can see we're pushing up toward that open. And we're also pushing up toward that price resistance in the chart. So watch that closely. Bulls are in control here as well. Let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM, I think it's remarkable that IWM seems to have one of the more bullish patterns um, in the market right now, holding this price support in here, moving back up in the chart and this morning it's also looking for a little tiny bit of bullishness this morning trying to push up let's see if those small caps can uh, really begin to participate there may be a good opportunity in here if the bulls are going to continue to um, push for those new record highs in the market let's take a look at the vix the VIX, it's interesting to note that the VIX started up a little bit yesterday. We had a little bit of fear coming in, but then it slowly diminished as the day went along. We had that little tiny push toward the end of the day to close us positive. So the uh, the VIX pulled back. So once again, I'm going to say the bulls are in control here. We're not sh displaying a great deal of fear here in the market. And this morning gap up that we're looking at right now ahead of the employment number would suggest that the VIX is going to continue to decline. Watch this area down in here where we could catch some support. But right now, the VIX is certainly not showing us a tremendous amount of fear um, in the market as the market continues to want to just grind itself higher. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today. Oops, you know what? I forgot. I forgot to look at T21. T2122. This is the four week new high, new low ratio. And yesterday we did get a pullback, even though the, we kind of ground higher, we did get a pullback because that wasn't a real broad based rally. It was pushing on really some very specific stocks that um, push those indexes higher. What's interesting is that we cl we closed here right about mid mid range of T2122. Now all that really tells us is that we have plenty of upside room for this market to go or plenty of downside room for this to go. It's really going to depend on that employment situation number and how those how the uh, market reacts to that number, which way we go today. Um, just keep in mind we've got plenty of room on both sides to move um, move so just uh, we just have to key in on what the price action is telling us today let's take a look at our economic calendar our economic calendar looking for that employment situation number here at 8:30 this morning so we're going to get this gap or whatever happens um, an hour prior to the actual market open keep in mind we have consumer sentiment at 10 a.m but that after that um, don't expect much of any of these to move the market around today so this morning we'll get that um, 
uh, calendar out of the way and maybe start thinking about the weekend ahead and possibly that uncertainty of um, tariff increases. So watch those morning uh, reports. On the earnings uh, front, we only have about 15 companies reporting earnings, but honestly, not too much in the way of market moving reports. So we'll want to keep an eye on these, but not too much in the way of market moving um, things this morning. We do have big lots reporting this morning. It looks like it's gapping up, but certainly not what I would consider a big market mover. And um, GCO um, looks like they're gapping substantially higher this morning as well. So a couple of good earnings reports this morning. And that's really about the top of, of the notables that I see in the list today. So not too much going on there. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day of trading. I want to wish you great profits. And as we head into the weekend, I'd like you to consider just carefully consider the risk you take into the weekend. Remember, if we do get that pop-up this morning, heading into a weekend where there may be some risk of, you know, trade news and things like that, it may be a wise time to think about taking some profits and just kind of sliding into the weekend a little, with a little bit less risk. I know that's going to be my plan. doesn't have to be your plan. And, um, if you guys would do me a favor, if you find these videos helpful, if you think um, you get something out of these videos, could you do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up. And if you feel like you got something out of the video today, please make sure to click that thumbs up button and to leave a comment. You know, the purpose of these videos is not to predict anything. Um, it's to seriously look at the technicals, the things that may affect the market for the day and try to determine how we want to approach the market uh, for the day and on this video how we want to approach that weekend so if you find these helpful please make sure and leave those brief comments that really helps a lot thank you so much for everyone who does do that you guys are awesome i truly truly appreciate it so with that everyone let's take a look at a few charts that could be setting up um first a chart i want to bring to your attention and please keep in mind that anytime i bring up a potential chart um that they are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security whatsoever. Everyone should evaluate these trades carefully and uh, try and decide if they fit you personally. Um, UNH, I gotta tell you, this is a really a bullish pattern here in UNH. Moving up sharply now, one thing I do have a concern about is that this rally may be a little bit steep, but this beautiful consolidating move here, and you can see had a nice bullish day yesterday. We may still get a couple more days of consolidation in here into next week, but then let's watch this to see if that can pop on out and uh, move on higher. And as you can see, we have some new, uh, some highs up here to attack, some all time highs to attack in UNH up there about 287 and a half, somewhere up in there. So we could still move up substantially here in this chart. And um, it's looking very, very bullish here at the moment. Uh, very, very strong. Take a look at Amgen. Now, Amgen is one that I probably won't trade. I am i don't like trading biotechs much. And as a matter of fact, they just, um, I've just never had a whole lot of luck trading biotechs because of their volatility. That doesn't mean that you don't have to like them. And in that uh, chart, as you can see, a nice bullish consolidation moving over toward the trend. It may take a few more days even into next week before that completes that consolidation over the trend just like this one here and we can see this continuation pattern to the upside in Amgen watch that close very very bullish chart um, blue sky highs there's nothing out there providing some resistance in this chart it's looking very very good and very very strong overall let's take a look at the oil sector Mattel and uh, not Mattel <laughs> Um, Halliburton, that's what I wanted. Why did I type Mattel? Um, 
Halliburton is one that I have been watching, and you guys know that I have been uh, talking about this. Now, some of the members of RWO have already made some money on this and um, had a little tiny pullback yesterday. Now, during the night, um, we had news that OPEC is going to cut production. And so let's watch these oil sector uh, stocks like Halliburton to see if they can hold in these nice bullish patterns and then begin to move up. If OPEC is going to cut production, we should likely see those um, prices in oil start to increase. So let's watch that closely. Halliburton might be a place to lure, look. Um, Schlumberger might be a place to look. Now Schlumberger, not quite as stellar here, still dealing with this downtrend, but you can see we have this nice wedge in this chart. So some of those oil sector stocks might be a place to take a look. Take a look at MAR. Marriott, Marriott holding up very, very well in this nice trend. Marriott looking good. Moving on up, we're dealing with some price support and resistance levels in the chart. And if that can hold up in here, we could see that move on higher. So keep a look, uh, check out the resistance up here. We could reach up into uh, those highs of MAR and uh, looking pretty good. Yesterday I mentioned TAL in the morning market prep and um, TAL did finally take off and move up a little bit. It did pull back by the end of the day holding uh, the top of this support area. So let's continue to watch TAL. There may still be this opportunity that we move on higher and test this resistance high in the chart. Now it's possible not only test but break through that level. So keep an eye on TAL. There may be an opportunity there in that chart. I was watching Coca-Cola um, and have been watching Coca-Cola here for a while. I trade Coke quite often. Um, Coke moving up trying to break through this downtrend holding in this um, uptrend. One of the things that's been kind of interesting over the last few days is seeing some of the defensive sector stocks perking up. And Coke being one of those moving up nicely here, breaking through that downtrend. Had that pullback yesterday, but it ended up um, resolving itself back to the upside. Any rest, consolidation, or pullback that holds that trend, that downtrend as support, could be an opportunity to uh, to trade. So watch that carefully. Um, we're seeing that in several stocks like PepsiCo. PepsiCo also moving up here. One of those defensive sectors moving up, trying to hold support. Watch that in here because as this trend continues to develop, these may have an opportunity to move on higher. Also saw some nice moves in Hershey. Hershey holding up well. Um, Hershey, one of those defensive sector, breaking its downtrend, holding it as support, seeing the bulls push this on up. If we are going to have a little bit of nervousness in the market, these def defensive sector stocks may be the benefit of those trades. A um, couple trades that you might um, also want to keep an eye on. Cisco. Cisco is one that I have been mentioning for a possible short. That has certainly worked out nicely here. Now start to watch down in this area where we might reach a little bit of price support. There may be a little bit more downside move, but don't be too surprised if uh, Cisco starts to bounce back up just a little tiny bit. Um, as we kind of find this support. So if you're in that trade, might want to take some profits. Um, any, any rally back though, could set up another opportunity to short in this incredibly strong downtrend. Take a look at Intel. Intel has been kind of an interesting chart in that we were up here testing, 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 trying to get through. As a matter of fact, I, I was long this chart, ended up getting stopped out on this trade. And as you can see, um, my stop was right, right underneath this area here, got stopped out on that big swing move down. So I'm watching this chart right now, holding in this trend. It is entirely possible this could recover in this trend and come back up. We'll have to watch, wait and see, but this could be one of those trades that could go either direction. So for example, we could rally right back up into the resistance of that price action right here, 
rally back up into that resistance and then find failure. So watch Intel. This one could go either direction. Um, I, I still have to give this up to the bulls because the bulls are being so relentlessly positive, pushing in the trend. But I want to be watchful of that potential of that failure in there and that possible short. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day. And all, more importantly, I want to wish you an awesome, awesome weekend. Hopefully you have a great day of trading. Um, think about maybe lightening up into the weekend with that risk. I know that's what I'm going to be doing um, as we head into the weekend and that uncertainty of trade. But other than that, we've got a very bullish market and things are holding up pretty well. Everyone take care. Have an awesome, awesome weekend. We'll talk to you all bright and early, bright and early Monday morning. Have a good one.